Good afternoon, Modern Steaders. Last night, the epoxy we applied on the composting outhouse toilet wasn't dry. It's kind of got me a little scared. Let's go check on it this afternoon and see if it's dry. Fingers crossed. I don't want to get a sticky tush. Looks nice and glossy. Ooh, I like it. We can take the tape off. Oh, got a little overzealous there, I guess. Wow, that's some tough stuff. Ouch, it's really stuck, good. Let's see if we can get it off here. Nope, let's go get a razor knife. There we go. Here comes the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, at least I've been waiting for this. We get to install the seat. Bump, 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 bump. Bottom bump. Ain't that just so pretty? Hold up. There we go. Now that's a proper outdoor composting outhouse. Oh yeah, that just fits the part. All right. That's enough fun for a minute. We need to measure out and figure our bracing for our sink to run down here to here. Board here that I cut. Man, right in my pooper. Good thing it's not dirty. But... Got a board here that I cut two 45 degree angles on, and I'm gonna use to brace my sink. I don't know if we really need this support here, but I'm gonna put it just in case somebody, when they go to get up from the potty, leans on the sink. have a bracing for them. Yeah, this bracing isn't for how much weight the sink's going to have in it. This weight, this bracing, so if somebody decides to use this to get up off the toilet from, they'll have plenty of support. Now if somebody leans on that, it's not going anywhere. Now I need to drill a hole to get our plumbing through. We can put that right in the composting toilet after. a piece of wire, snake it through the hole, and we'll hook it around our hose. Now if we pull our wire, it should bend our hose the way we need it to go. There we go. Drill a hole on the outside wall. But for the outside wall, 
we're gonna go with a one inch paddle bit. On our two guys, we wanted a wider hole, that way we had more room to get our bends through. This hole's gotta be a straight shot right outside, so we don't need to go with a huge hole. Get our hose, stick it through. Yeah. Sweep up our mess, and we can put it right inside the composting toilet. Now we need some good composting material. I bet you some cedar wood shavings would make a nice composting medium. Might have to look and see where you can get some and how much. The pine though smells good too. You could use leaves, grass clippings, dried, whatever you really have. Here we go. Dump a little bit in there. Keep the bucket over there for now. Have to find a nice scoop. One scoop for number one, two scoops for number two. That's pretty easy to remember. One for one, two for two. Ha! Who would have figured? I just gotta find a nice scoop I can get. Someday I'd like to build a nice wooden bin for the wood shavings, but this is gonna have to do for now. We just wanna make sure everything is done and usable for the three day hog harvesting class we're gonna be putting on here at Lumna Acres at the end of October. It's gonna be here before you know it. It's already the end of September. Let's see how this sink holds up. We still need to figure out what we can use for a watering container. I'm thinking something sitting in here with some sort of spigot. We can wash our hands. I just gotta find something. I haven't been able to find the right thing that I want yet. We'll keep our eyes out. Worst case scenario for now, we'll have to use hand wipe while we're in here for the class. That'll work. Not the ideal thing, but until I find the right watering bucket, that's what we're gonna have to use. Oh. She's holding water. So that's a good sign. Get it cleaned up. Perfect. We don't need that stopper anymore. Set that right here. We're ready for use. I really like the bar top epoxy. That came out really nice. It's pretty thick in some spots, but even those cracks in the boards are filled right in. So now it'll be easy cleaning out here. You can just wipe it down. You get your toilet paper right where you need it. If you have one of those poops and you're starting to get a little sweaty, oh, you just hang your hat up there. You need to take your shirt off. You can hang your shirt off up there. Whew. Wash your hands. Look at that. If you leave the door open, you can look at the pigs. I have my mom and her husband up, and it's her birthday. Happy birthday, mom. I need to go inside now and make her a birthday cake. I'm gonna make the famous cake that we made at the Rhodes' meetup. And I'm gonna post that on our website. 
I got the website worked out so we can post recipes over there. The first recipe I posted on our website was the breakfast pizza we had the other day. We had a lot of modern steaders asking for that recipe. So I'm going to leave a link here and in, in, in the description down below for the breakfast pizza we made. And then there's going to be one for the gluten-free chocolate cake. If you don't think it's good, go ask Rebecca or Justin Rhodes and the kids and ask them what they thought of it. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.